our connection to our Vietnamese roots really appealed to me. And it's something I've always wanted to celebrate in my art. I think a lot of people out there are intrigued on, on the process behind it. Um, you know, because obviously you, your work's pretty iconic. You know, kind of people, you know, they see the start of it and, you know, before you know it, it's, it, it's up. Uh, you know, what would the process be? What we'll start with is first uh, do some, some, take some pictures of you in my studio, uh, trying to find the right composition. So why people are calling you Enigma? People know what I do and what I bring to the city, but on a, on a, on a personal level, not really people know much about me. That, that could bring us some interesting uh, option in terms of the visual for, for, for your portraits. So maybe if uh, you, you put your hand on, on your face. Yeah, something like that can work, yeah. How do you select like the, 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 the colours and stuff like that? Uh, from the skin tone, so I, I look yeah. at the picture and uh, yeah. I try to get the best match. Yeah. With spray cans, you, one can is one color, so you really need to pick the right one to make sure you kind of are faithful with, with the right skin tones and all the textures. Both my parents are Vietnamese, so my dad uh, was born in uh, Hanoi and my mom uh, in Ho Chi Minh, but they met in France, uh, so I was born in France and grew up in Paris suburbs. And how often do you go back to, uh, to Vietnam? I've only been um, twice, okay. back twice, so um, first time it was um, 2004. Mm. And you? I decided that I wanted to see where my parents were from. Haiphong's like famous for its street food as well, so I was my dad's a chef. So it's nice to obviously go back there and kind of see where he kind of like learned his trade from. So when you first came to, um, to Manchester in 97, was there already um, a lot of Vietnamese restaurants? Um, maybe not as, as many as, as now, yeah. but uh, it took me a while to, to find out about uh, the Vietnamese community. So okay. When I arrived in Manchester, I didn't really know that many people from, from the graffiti scene or art scene, so, so there was a period where, where I didn't do much, but little by little I got introduced to, to some other graffiti artists and, and that, that was really the, the, the start of, of me starting again in, in, in Manchester. What interested you in being involved in this project? I think when I was first asked to be um, part of the project, what stood out is, like I say, you know, the, the numerous artists, creators involved, uh, not just well-known artists, but, you know, um, a lot of um, up-and-coming artists as well. I mean, for me, uh, one of the directions I, I want to take is paint, uh, more local people who kind of contribute to the city. Um, so. so you are kind of uh, an ideal subject because of your involvement in the creative industry. But uh, I think it's a, it's a great platform as well uh, to kind of help businesses who, uh, which have suffered during, during the, the lockdown. I think especially with the mentoring side of things that I do, it's good to show, um, show those guys that, you know, stick at what you're doing. Um, you know, the, the exposure is definitely out there. 